Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadongsterborn, but built for theme park news, and I never thought I'd do another video. Um, this is going to intertwine sort of after the first Valhalla video, uh, because this is an urgent update. Um, and it's sort of a continuation really on the Valhalla video from what you've just seen earlier. And, I mean, you guys will have seen it on social media by now, they've confirmed that Valhalla is being delayed until 2022. Um, we're going to speak my thoughts about it. It's not going to be the longest video in the world, but it's going to be a decent length video just to sort of explain my thoughts about it and, you know, the facts and why it's been delayed till 2022, etc, etc. And then we'll be sharing with you the uh, actual t Twitter post, the actual image they sort of uploaded to go with the announcement. Uh, so before we get started, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. We're getting closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers and half a million views, which is unbelievable. So keep that going. Uh, we're about 5,000 views, I think, away from 500,000 overall, which is great. And uh, let's keep those vintage views going. And for now, let's get into this video. We have to start off by announcing the headline of this news, and that is that Valhalla is going to be delayed until 2022. So already we knew that Valhalla was going to be opening at first in 2021 and we knew already it was going to be refurbished with some new changes. There was rumours of things like new soundtrack, new name, uh, station work being done and you know ever since the writing of 2021 was removed from the construction wall I had an inkling that it may be delayed until 2022 and we sort of had a feeling that maybe it was going to go on longer than 2021 and then just after we uploaded the video sharing my thoughts on the project we got the official confirmation that it will be delayed till 2022 but the image that you can already see on your screen right now is of course the uh, Valhalla image. This is the image that Amanda Thompson uh, shared on her Twitter uh, and it's a nice design, it's a nice Norse mythology design. Uh, Valhalla Brave the Adventure 2022 Blackpool Pleasure Beach and um, a nice black and sort of rusty gold I guess, like a rusty gold kind of look and um, you know I, I think that's a great look for the ride it sort of gives me York Dungeon vibes with the Vikings and you know it kind of gives me just normal Norse mythology vibes and um, you know very nice sort of look to it in terms of the actual promotional image design so that was the image and the sort of announcement from Valhalla at Blackpool Pleasure Beach now you guys are probably going to expect to hear my thoughts on this well and you know, like I said at the start of the video, I'm going to sort of sum up some factors in this decision, why they decided to postpone it until after the 125th anniversary in 2021 uh, over to 2022. Um, there's a few factors in it, one of which would obviously be COVID-19, that is a massive factor in, in the decision. Uh, it's been a massive factor in the decision of loads of different theme parks, closing different rides, you know, renovations and new attractions being delayed till the, pre the next year from the previous year. And, you know, it's, this has been a factor for a few different things, for, for other theme park attractions. So, you know, I wasn't surprised that this was going to happen, and if it wasn't, then COVID would have been one of the main facts in the decision. Uh, one of the other facts in the decision is the fact that... Um, you know, they want to do a good job and they want to sort of get it up to the best of its ability. And 2022 gives me hope. 2022 gives me a lot of hope with this attraction, with this re with specific refurbishment of an attraction. And with Valhalla, I think that what they could do with it is the creative potential is endless with the refurbishment of Valhalla. And 2022 opening is a decent year. It's a decent year to open it. It's a perfect timeline to get work underway in 2021 to help transform this into a brand new ride, well, not, a, not really brand new, but a refurbished ride experience. Um, so I think COVID and the knack and the urge to make it perfect are the two main facts, in my opinion, to make this a 2022 ride rather than a 2021 ride. Um, it will be one of the main attractions for the 2022 season in the UK. I've got no doubts about that. Um, and, you know, I'm a massive fan of this. Obviously, you guys know I'm a massive fan of this. You guys out there are probably massive fans of this project. Um, I can't wait to ride it. So it is going to be 2022 now that the ride will open. It gives me an excuse to go to Blackpool Pleasure Beach in 2022. Um, you know, 2021, I was originally going to go to Blackpool anyway because, of course, it's the 125th anniversary. Why would I not be there? 
Um, so I'll try and get out there as close as I can to the opening date to you guys uh, next year. And then the following year in 2022, you know, it's going to be Blackpool again. So uh, that'll be Valhalla's opening in 2022 to look forward to as well. So that's two back-to-back -back years of Blackpool, fingers crossed. And, um, you know, I'm really excited about this project. I can't wait to sort of experience it, write it for myself, give it a review and um, just share all the good things about it because I think there's a lot of good things that will come from this project and it will definitely be worth the wait. Like I put on social media, it will definitely be worth the wait. Uh, so thank you very much guys for watching this small update from Valhalla being delayed till 2022. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe and for now, my name is Coast Chow, keep living the coast life and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. For now, just keep staying tuned for the rest of today, tune out for the rest of the uploads coming today. Thank you very much, have a thrill day.